Hey there, welcome back and thank you for watching. I am about to do a video on springs. That is right, uh, uh, bypass uh, pressure relief valves in oil filters. I've seen several comments online and videos that I think are uh, just misinformation. And uh, I'm gonna try to clear up the various types of pressure relief valves that I'm aware of that are in oil filters. So stick around, we're gonna run through them all. All right, first up is just this diagram of an oil filter in the various uh, scenarios I've come up with. I think I've got six of them here uh, that you might uh, encounter. Uh, so this is an engine oil filter or a lube filter, and you have oil comes in the small holes, goes through the filter element, and then comes out through the center tube filtered into the engine. Uh, you do have a bypass valve, in this case, integrated into this canister, and then a spring at the bottom. Uh, so this is scenario number four with the integrated bypass valve and a lower coil spring where this spring serves the purpose of holding that canister tight up into the housing uh, when it's all crimped together and sealed uh, before shipment. Uh, that spring is not providing bypass uh, pressure relief. So let's go through, uh, try to go through these sort of one at a time here. All right, unfortunately, I don't have examples of uh, number one. Uh, where there's an upper bypass, but here's a Whip City Wrencher. And by the way, if you, I'll put a link in the description to his what, YouTube page. If you want to see all about uh, oil filters, uh, this is the uh, place to go, not, not my page. So this is an upper bypass relief valve. So you can see here, he's showing it in this example. And here's what it looks like. Uh, and what he does later in this video is he actually does the inspection. So he cuts the bypass valve out of the upper you see, he cuts it off here and he deconstructs it, deconstructs it. So here you can see all of the parts of that bypass valve and he kind of sort of assembles it back together and shows you how that works in bypass mode. And then here's another video he has where it's another filter with an upper bypass. He shows the bottom and there's no bypass in the bottom here. So I kind of zip through and then he shows what's inside the can and it's a leaf spring. So now notice this leaf spring. There's nothing in the center here. So this leaf spring is holding the canister tight in the, in the filter can. Um, no different than the coil spring is in other uh, versions that have the integrated upper bypass valve. And then for clarity, I want to distinguish that from a filter that has a separate piece in the upper, but it's not a bypass. It's just a metal. That's just a stamped piece of metal. Let's go back and look at that. There, he's showing it here. There's no bypass in that unit. In fact, if we fast forward, you know, we'll see in this unit, he shows us there's a bypass valve built into the bottom. See, he's pressing it in there. And then if we go a little further here, we'll see uh, he's showing the pleats. Now he's showing actually another filter, but there's a spring, I believe it is, in that uh, canister. Uh, but he's also getting into the next type that has uh, different, that's another type of built-in canister spring valve you may see. Yeah, and here we go. He dumps the coil spring, and there we go. So that that one had an integrated uh, bypass valve in the canister and a spring at the bottom just for providing tension. Okay, then now I'm gonna get into my own videos. Um, so this is type number five that has a bypass valve integrated into the leaf spring. And you can see there's a spring in the, this leaf thing. That's the Denso that's uh, it's shown up here that's used on the Agco. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the Fram of the Denso. You can see down here uses a very similar uh, design. Um, so the one thing I'm gonna pause it here and go back, obviously you can see that's not a really good seal. So that's one reason like the, you know, why the Fram isn't I think is not a good filter, at least this basic Fram pH uh, model. Uh, but the point of this is that the integrated bypass valve uh, is in the leaf spring. So it's not just the empty hole in the center of that leaf spring. Uh, so, uh, but backing up here, just to sort of show this canister style again on the ones I tested, you can see this um, Wix had the leaf spring and there's the integrated, and I'll press in on it. There's the integrated bypass valve. So again, this spring is not providing bypass. The bypass is the little uh, spring that's inside the filter. And it was the same thing here on the um, Agco 
uh, model filter that's used on the GC uh, 20 or uh, 2000 series uh, filters. Okay, so now here's the hydraulic filters, and I published this video a couple weeks ago. I see the Denso has the tension spring in it. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to look at um, the bypass in each of these uh, filters. No bypass in, in the Baldwin. You can see there was nothing there. I didn't spin it around for the camera. Uh, it was the same thing, nothing, just hard, you know, solid piece. I should have spun it around for the camera for the wicks. Uh, but the Denso is different. Here I go, pressing in on it. It's got a bypass built into it. Uh, so all three of these had that tension coil spring. Um, and here I'll even pull it out of the Baldwin. Uh, but uh, two of them had no bypass function. And these are hydraulic filters. And I can only assume that that's because if a hydraulic filter gets clogged, the consequence of the hydraulic filter getting clogged is that the hydraulics stop, whereas the consequence of a engine oil filter getting clogged is that the engine uh, will run without oil and it will blow up. Uh, so it's better, I guess, in a hydraulic situation to not bypass, potentially. Uh, I don't know. I'd love to see some comments uh, on what you guys think about that. But that's how I, you know, t or that's what I saw when I tested the hydraulic uh, filters. Okay, so I'll throw in a couple other pictures here, some type four, type five, and I'll link that video in the description so you can see a bunch of them lined up side by side. Uh, and then back to Whip City Rancher type three and type four side by side so you can see those differences as well. Uh, so I've seen videos on YouTube that uh, call that coil spring uh, a bypass relief and it's just a tension spring. It's not bypass relief. Uh, and even in the case, you could say, well, in the hydraulic filter it is. But, you know, when you look up those specs, uh, well, actually some of the WIC specs aren't really complete, uh, but the ones that are will actually say bypass relief, none. Uh, so, you know, the WIC specs, you know, support that that, uh, the statement that that spring is tension only and not bypass relief. So if you think otherwise or know otherwise, please post in the comments. But hopefully this has cleared up at least what I think is correct regarding uh, these filters. And I wanted to clear that up since I've done a couple of uh, prior videos on filter deconstruction. So as always, if you have any questions, post them in the comments, and I appreciate you watching and look forward to next time. Take care.